This is Dan Max, the trading agent. This is a stock trading and recap channel that I wanted to share to the masses. In a probability game, there's no certainty. Here are my insights and predictions. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka the trading agent. Doing a little morning recap of what I'm watching. I uh, will be out of the office later this afternoon, and I don't know if I'll be able to record a recap until tonight. But let's go over what I'm kind of watching for the day and should be checking and paying attention to on my phone as I'm out and about. Gold at the downtrend, high and tight. Talked about this being OPEX week on the Discord room. OPEX means CHOPEX. You're going to get a lot of moves in names that might be pinned to certain areas or certain levels if you own particular stocks that are doing such just don't be surprised that they're pinned to certain prices in certain areas i tend to see a lot of that you know some stocks might have enough demand and movement to move and then some might just keep it simple so gold probably going nowhere apple another one in my mind probably going nowhere 150 seems like it'll be tied to that until maybe the end of the week can't know for sure if there's a head and shoulders top that's going to be invalidated or not until the downtrend breaks <clears throat> roblox i keep telling people i think it's going to get to the 120s in time if you zoom out you can see all the fibs old trend line importance all lines up in that area would not be surprised if we get up there tesla 20 day moving average in red is key here if not, it probably fills the gap here at 900 area and the old highs do, 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 from la from 2020. Ooh, that's not straight. Yeah, <clears throat> that's the key. This red line. I think this moving average is going to matter. Get it, get over it temporarily, intraday possibly. Where it closes is going to tell me the most. So keep that simple. Our friend X just. Uh, it could be tied to the 25 range. It also hit the 20 day to this morning, which was interesting. I thought you could potentially buy that if you wanted to, but you'd wait. <clears throat> Pen, we bought some, or I bought some options where I know my defined risk a little higher. Also bought the retest at 56. If you are not, if you're an all or nothing trader, you're freaking out. If you are waiting and expecting retests and know that. <laughs> Pen has the potential to chop around. It is OPEX. You can buy some shares here. I would probably not buy options because I don't know if it'll move quickly, but I like the opportunity down here. Keep your stops really tight. I think I showed you all on the monthly or the weekly where it's some old trend lines that I think are important. I like Pen here with a stop. Remember, there is no certainty, so don't get mad at yourself or mad at the market. It just is what it is. People talk about valet in our Discord room. I like it. I don't think it's going to get over the 20-day. It's probably stuck at the 8-day. I, You know, it's really hard to see a V bottom. I, we talk about it. It's, you know, usually you get some sort of chop. I, it's probably in the similar boat. If you do get it, try to get some shares. Maybe buy some long-term calls, but keep them in the money so that you're not paying just only for time. Not a big fan of just doing that because what happens is if you just pay for time... <laughs> and it goes nowhere, then your option just gets smushed. If you have some intrinsic value by being in the money, they'll hold up better in case it does chop. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on today. There's, you know, someone was asking me about Facebook, and I still think that at some point they're dead, but we'll see. I could be wrong. 100 day is key here. Made a nice little look above and fail bull trap potentially yesterday. Just is what it is at this point. There's a lot of... Um, a lot of uncertainty coming out into the next week or so. I just with the whole supply chain issues and G talking with Biden and threatening us to not help Taiwan. It looks like there's some issues in uh, Turkey with their currency. We talked about the dollar. Really wasn't too confident either way, but it looks like other currencies are falling apart, so people are buying the dollar. Looks like it's breaking out of this channel. TLT talked about this said this 0.382 and gap fill might fill and hit clearly it got close we'll see the volume on the down didn't really get me too interested in or too worried about bonds I mean this day was clearly a fed day where they slammed bonds pop back spy you know everyone's like are you bearish are you bullish 
I'm kind of indifferent. I don't really have an opinion. I expect us to retest the highs. <laughs> Could we get the ultimate channel high? Look up. I don't know, but it's just no man's land. I'd rather wait for the 20-day to break or the breakout. Because we could go nowhere and sideways forever, and depending on what, if you own the index, it just there's other trades, other things out there. The Qs look a little toppier to me than, say, the SPY. I mean, you did hit the wedge top. Those, to me, look more like a short. But if you're going to short the Qs, make sure you know what, what the hell's going on with Tesla. That's going to be a big you know, influence. They're a big part of the Qs, Apple, all these names. If you trade the Qs, obviously, it's the top 100 NASDAQ names. Don't quote me on this because I haven't looked in a long time, but I'm pretty sure the top six or seven names account for 50% or more of the Qs. So knowing that, you just kind of need to know what the top 50% are doing. Anyway, again, let's just keep it simple. If you got a lot going on, try not to make it so confusing. Just identify the names that you're watching and, and really stick to them. I'll be paying attention to Penn because I am in stop mode, potentially. If I'm wrong, I'm just gone. I like this area. I think all the worst is out. Pen gaming is going to do fine. Gambling over the holidays is going to be there. We'll see what happens. Anyway, Dan Max at EXP, AK the trading agent. Stop by the Discord room. If you watched this far, do me a favor. Find one extra person to help that might subscribe or want to join. I'm trying to grow this. More people that uh, get involved, the more uh, time and effort that I can spend doing this. It's just other things that I prefer to do other than sit around and watch the market all day. I've done that for, <laughs> I did that for 10 plus years. It doesn't really make you a better trader. It just makes you want to gamble more. But if I have uh, my attention helping other people, it's easier to do and try to stay focused on and actually worth the time. So as they say, sharing is caring and teaching others makes you better. So when the student is ready, the teacher appear. All right, friends, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the content. Also smash the like button, share with your friends, and add a comment. If there's a topic or stock you'd like me to give you insight about, let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer your question. Thanks.